know me better, I'd like to tell a story about how my closest call to death, and that happened about 14,000 feet above sea level, and it was uh, on a backpacking trip with uh, three of my buddies. Uh, we planned it like, we started the summer before our senior year of high school, so back in like 2010, and uh, we uh, decided on our inaugural trip, we were going to do a five-day backpacking trip and uh, go after a 14,000-foot mountain called 14 -er. But on our inaugural trip, we're all, all three of us are Eagle Scouts, me, Mason, Matthew, and Brandon. Um, and so we didn't, we thought we were adequately, adequately prepared for our trip. <coughs> and uh, even though our parents were worried, which they had all the right to be sending 17, year, 17 and 18 year old kids out to go do this five day backpacking trip, it was a success. Uh, even though we did get lost at one point, which is kind of scary for a full day, I had no idea where we were. Uh, to avoid the bears that were coming up with country food and not with the hanging from trees. We were ready for the next summer. We sort of thought we'd make it a yearly sort of event. Sort of because we knew we were going off to college with all three of us, all four of us were going to different places. So we all thought this would be a good time to get back with each other every summer. So we wanted more of a challenge next summer. We uh, decided that all the stuff that happened the first trip wasn't wasn't good enough for us. We wanted more of a challenge, more of excitement. So we went to Gunnison, Colorado, and we decided to take down West Maroon Pass, which is a four to five day hiking trip going from Gunnison, Colorado to Aspen, uh, going and it passed over four different passes, ranging from 13,500 feet to 14,000 feet. In order to do this, the afternoon storms would come in right around noon, so you had to wake up about five and six o'clock in the morning to go after every pass. And it was a challenge, I mean, I was a lot, a lot more out of shape than I was the first semester, I'll tell you that much, or the first trip that we took the first summer. But uh, we got to our final pass, we woke up in the morning and uh, we sort of missed our, misjudged our time, didn't wake up at our normal time about five or six in the morning. So we, uh, we're coming up on our final pass at uh, about, let's say about four or five in the afternoon, which is completely off. We slept in a little too long. And so the sun was setting. So we decided, well, there's no way if it's coming down the west, it's going to be coming over the mountaintop. We won't be able to see anything. So it's kind of dangerous going up there. Uh, so we decided to make camp. And this, we made camp at 13,000 feet, which is above tree line, which is pretty dangerous to do, especially if we saw the storm coming in as we were traversing on the other side of the mountain. So we knew what we were getting into, so we made dinner and then we were like, okay, well the storm's rolling in, it's pretty bad clouds, we were uh, just going to make camp. So we decided to make camp at about 13,000 feet, which is above tree line, so we were the highest objects in this field, which is a horrible idea, especially since we're under tents that are made out of aluminum poles. So the storm rolls in, we're all asleep, and I remember it wakes me up, the thunder and the lightning do, and uh, you, was, you could see it, the lightning would hit, and the thunder would hit right after that. So it was simultaneous, which we knew was right on top of us, hitting right beside us. So we were, I, I remember waking up, and I turned to the guy in my tent, and I said, this is it. This is where we're done. Yeah. Uh, there's no way we're getting out of this one alive. And I remember yelling at the other tent of guys. I was like, boys, it was fun. It was fun while it lasted. And so uh, we, went, we, we make it through the storm somehow, and I was shaking all night, just freaking out. And of course, once the storm was over, we thought we'd hear a bear rustling around outside. And like, it was an awful night all around. So uh, I remember thinking as the whole thing was going down, well, it was a good run. We had fun. That was the scariest moment I think we ever had, because a year before that, I'd read an article in the paper about a guy at sea level who was underneath a tent with aluminum poles. He got struck by lightning and was instantly gone. But uh, that was the scariest moment I think I've had in a long time. You know, I've been close to a lot of car wrecks. but. Uh, that was probably the scariest moment when I'm closest to death. Uh, I mean, we all stayed safe through this reckless situation. We laugh about it today. We still haven't told our parents because I'm, I'm sure that that would really go over well with it. Uh, the lasting impression it had on me was that uh, we stuck. We had to stick to our act, like stick to our plan of action whenever going after dangerous things like that, and avoid running into problems. Thank you.